Hey, Dr. Noah Voles here with Evidence-Based Exercises for Common Complaints. Today we're doing a, an obscure, uh, uh, the exercises in our, aren't ex obscure, but the uh, particular neuropathy that we're doing. So this is the long thoracic nerve, um, and sometimes that nerve can get aggravated. Um, that nerve helps with the positioning of the shoulder blade, um, and it can also cause pain kind of in the, um, back behind the shoulder blade and also kind of the side of the rib cage. Um, so if you've been diagnosed with long thoracic neuropathy, these exercises can be super helpful. The first exercise is called the TYI scapular depression exercise. Uh, this is a great exercise for strengthening, strengthening the trapezius muscle. So in order to do this exercise, you wanna lay face down, either on a bed or on a chiropractic table, and then you bring the arm out to the side. So this is a T position. If your other arm was up, your body would basically be in a T. Um, you wanna do one arm at a time though. Uh, next is the Y, so you bring the arm up to the diagonal. And last is the I, so you bring the arm straight up overhead. The next exercise is called scapular clocks. So this is a really gentle movement of the shoulder blade. Uh, you wanna begin by drawing the shoulder blade up just slightly, and then you draw the shoulder blade out to the side, and then you draw it down, and then you draw it back to the middle. So you're kind of tracing a clock with the shoulder blade, and then you can go opposite directions with the shoulder blade. The next exercise is called the push-up plus, and this is a great exercise for the serratus anterior muscle uh, on the side of the rib cage. You'll lay on your back, you'll have a small weight in your hand, and then you'll want to extend the arm up towards the sky, kind of like you're pulling the shoulder uh, up and out. So those are the exercises for long thoracic neuropathy. If you're not finding benefit from these exercises, then you wanna get a second opinion. Um, you'll wanna work with a professional and have a hands-on guidance to figure out how to resolve the pain that you're having in your shoulder. Um, exercises can be a helpful adjunct, but sometimes you need additional support. So when you're doing these exercises, it's best to start with about three uh, sets of five reps. Um, if the exercises are working, then you can uh, increase the number of reps that you're doing up to 10. So thanks for so much for watching this video. I hope this really helps you uh, with this condition.